Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a video tutorial series for those wanting to learn all about Railway 2 train networks. In this series, we'll be putting in functional rail yards and train infrastructure and the assets for cargo and passenger trains. I'll be building out a city during the process so sit back, relax, take a deep breath. This is the Hanami Bay map that comes with the airport DLC. I'm using the realistic map theme and color correction. And I've taken the time to flatten out the map and remove most of the trees and rocks and things so that we can build in the train infrastructure first and then build the cities around those. I find that many people are putting in the city first and then they build all of this train infrastructure and they're tearing down much of what they've spent a lot of time building. In the beginning, we're going to be putting in a little town so we have some population and then we'll put in a rail yard in this area, cargo docks, freight terminal stations, industry, and we'll take all of this into the rail yard so that it can be distributed into this horseshoe interchange, which I've downloaded off the Steam Workshop. About every 200 units, I'm using this service interchange. And we'll be putting in an airport probably on this side of the map here, using this interchange. I'm planning on the downtown area here, university, and then putting in little towns on the outer lying edges of the map so we can bring the passenger trains into the main central hub in the downtown area. First, I want to take you to the Steam Workshop to show you some important pages in order to get Railway 2 train networks set up. This first page is the Railway 2 Guide page, and I'll be linking to all of these in the description and add some other pages that you might be interested in. This page gives you an overview of what Railway 2 is, and it gives you a list of the mods that you'll be needing to actually run the system. This is the most important mod we'll be using called Railway Replacer. This allows you to continue to lay down railway tracks in your stations and other assets while you're playing the game. And we'll be getting into this in this video tutorial. You'll also see a list of optional mods and one of these is Node Controller it's not Node Controller Renewal. This one you'll need to put in advanced connections with Railway 2, crossovers, turnouts, etc. The second page is the Railway Main page, which tells you how to use the Railway Replacer mod, which I'll be showing you in this video. This is another great page you'll need to have a link to because here you can install warehouses, administration buildings, maintenance units, etc. I've gone ahead to install a few of these to show you how they work, but we'll be going through many of these in this series. This is the most important page that you need to go to before you even open your game because you'll need to install your train tracks and the specific mods that are needed to do Railway 2. And here you can see they have listed out the mods and at the top they've put the base props for whichever kinds of tracks you're going to be installing. I'll be using American so I've installed the American base props. 
Adaptive Networks is needed to use Traffic Manager President Edition. Here's where you can choose your catenary packs, and I've chosen one, the Pennsylvania Railroad Catenary Pack, which is Northeastern Corridor. For now, I'm using the Swiss rail buffers, those are the ones available to us, and the Railway Barriers American, because I'm putting in American tracks. I'm also putting in the railway signals for Swiss and the lights. This is the most important pack of train tracks that you need to install. Railway 2 American Concrete Network Pack. If you want to put in wood, you'll choose the wooden. I like the wooden tracks. They look better in my opinion, but I'm using concrete because that's more common. I'm going to put in the American Concrete Station Tracks standard entry. And I've also installed the Concrete Island Station tracks for island stations. You can see that there's many other things you can install. We'll get into many of these during this series. You can also see that you can put in tracks from other countries in other parts of the world. This is the Node Controller mod which is not Node Controller Renewal, and I'll be showing you how to use this as well. So let's get the Railway Replacer mod set up. I'm at the edge of the map. This is a vanilla connection. Railway 2 don't connect to the outside connections. You'll need to use vanilla to connect to the outside. You're going to put in more than one connection, you're going to need a mod called Unlimited Outside Connections. So we'll open up our transport menu, go to the train tab, and we're going to lay a simple piece of track. This is a basic two-way noted piece of track. I've also installed the Railway 2 Dynamic American Concrete Procedural Network Pack. These allow you to do other things we'll get into later in the series. But to keep things simple, we'll be putting in this kind of track right now. You can see there are no props or catenaries installed on this piece of track. So pressing on your keyboard Alt, Shift, and P at the same time, you'll see that the Railway Replacer mod opens up. In the first box, we're going to drop down the menu and we're going to select Railway 2 USA Pennsylvania Railroad. These are the catenaries for a double normal piece of track. And you can see that the catenaries have popped in. The electrical wires are blue outside of the 25 building squares, but they become normal inside. We're going to go down and continue to select the same one for all the others. These are the end catenaries, and you can see those popped in. These are the tunnel catenaries. We're going to select the simple Railway 2 USA PPR for all of these. 
Now you can see that we're going to put in the signals from the Swiss pack. American may be available one day and you can download those. In this case, we're going to use American. And I'll leave gantries for later. If you were to choose tower here, those carry power lines above the train tracks. But we're going to stay with the simple catenaries from the Pennsylvania Railroad. Now you have your Railway 2 train networks set up. I'm going to be installing two rail lines, one for passenger line and one for cargo. And I'm going to be putting those a certain distance away from the road. If you don't have unlimited outside connections subscribed to, you don't want to delete these. I have the mod installed, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. In order to make an outside connection, I'm going to have to use vanilla track, but I want to put in my passenger line first, and I'll be using Railway 2 USA wired gravel concrete 4x2, and this is noted. And for that, I'm using the Network Multi-Tool and the Parallel Mode. Holding down Shift, I'm going to hit the Plus key and come out 250 meters. I'm going to come out with a cargo line from the main passenger line and I'll be using 2x2. Two two. And I'll come out 60 meters from it. To make my outside connections, I need to use Vanilla Track. So I'm just going to stretch a piece of Vanilla Track straight off the edge of the map. And again for my cargo line. And I'll connect these up to the vanilla track. You'll see there's a little glitch on these tracks and you can clean this up using the node controller. Click the node and change custom to bend.
During this video series, I'm going to time lapse many of the unnecessary elements. And so now I'm going to extend these rails all the way to the other side of the map. To put in bridges, I'm going to be using bridge. You'll want to turn on anarchy and unselect road bending. I'm using the set slope mode to straighten those out. I find it's easier. Now we have a complete cargo line and passenger line put in. I like the four track passenger line because I can distinguish it easily between my cargo line. Now I'm going to put in a little town so that we have some population.
I want to show you how to replace your existing networks. This is a little train station that I put in just for this purpose. If you have existing train networks and train stations, you can use this mod, which is called RON, the Network Replacer. Open up the RON window, and you're going to want to select your vanilla track. You can see here that we have several choices to replace these tracks with Railway 2. In this case, we just want the simple Railway 2 USA wired gravel concrete 2x2. The N stands for nodeless. And you can see here that this is the icon you would see in your train network menu. This is nodeless, wired, two-way, two tracks. Northeastern Corridor is the pack that we've installed. Once you have this selected, you just hit replace all, and you can see that the tracks come into place. Now we want to select the inner track of the train station. And in this case, you'll want to unselect same width only. This is a bypass train station. So we're going to need Railway 2 USA Gravel Concrete 4x2 Bypass Standard Entry Ground Level. If this was a high entry, you would be using this one here. So once you select that, you hit replace all, and it replaces all the tracks throughout your entire map. You would need to do this for all the different kinds of tracks and stations you have, but you can switch over to Railway 2, which is the advantage of the RON. In the next video, We'll be putting in a rail yard and a passenger train from this little town to the rail yard complex. Thank you for watching the old boar play city skylines. Take care now.